What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Winner Circle. If you are new here, you're going to love it here. You're going to want to subscribe, tap that bell, follow, uh, like, comment, do whatever it is you got to do to become part of the Winner Circle. Whatever platform you're watching this on, make sure you are part of the Winner Circle because at the Winner Circle, we all winners here. We bossing our lives up. We live in a better quality of life, and I'm going to help you live the best life and walk into your, the best version of yourself, okay? Well, I'm going to just jump right into this message. This message is going to be short and sweet um i was just sitting here thinking and i got a, a message for y'all god said don't go back don't go back don't look back whenever you leave something behind whether it, friends that wasn't supporting you friends that 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 you that might have been sneak dissing you playing games with you messing with your partner on the low but behind your back um planting seeds in people's minds that that to to go against you rallying up other people to to not be your friend um old co-workers, neighbors, uh, family members, old relationships. Anytime you leave something behind, don't go back, you guys. Don't go back. God be closing doors for reasons. And y'all wonder why if you constantly going back and giving people multiple chances after multiple chances, you living in the past, you operating in the past, God closing doors and you you wonder why you're not getting blessings. That's because you're trying to knock on old doors and open doors that God didn't already close for you move forward because anytime you leave something behind that was not serving you and let me just put, say this i'm not saying not to forgive people i'm not saying not to give people space and opportunity to grow because at one point in time somebody gave us space and opportunity to grow that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is once you have elevated from something because the moment you decide to cut somebody out your life to stop entertaining them the moment you decide that they are no longer aligned with you it no longer is serving you that means you have have awakened to something you have elevated and when you elevate you are no longer aligned with those things that's the old you that's aligned with it so if you find yourself going back to 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 things that you attracted the um in your old self your own mind your old mindset your own habits your own um your old way of thinking you backtracking you are no longer moving forward you sometimes we question ourselves we say you know did i make the right decision am i supposed to be with that person anytime you think that there is something supposed to be for you there is always something greater ahead i promise you anytime you think that you're supposed to be involved with something you missed out on an opportunity that you that you don't you're not sure if you made the right decision the past is the past don't go backwards you guys don't move backwards let go of old things okay anytime that you go back and entertain friends family members old relationships that that you know you left for a reason because it wasn't healthy for you it wasn't conducive to your growth it was um too much toxicity in it anytime that you decide to go back to those things you were energetically sending a vibration saying that that's where you want to be that's the low level treatment that you deserve that's the low level support that you deserve that's the low level um um mindset that you still want to be in that you still want to entertain that you still want to be a part of and energetically you don't want to send that message you want to be always vibrating in a high vibration you always want to be seeking things that are um uplifting you that are transforming you that are onward and upward that is constantly moving you in a progressive state you don't want to go back to things that are no longer serving you let people go let relationships go. And I don't mean um, like if you was dealing with somebody and you guys are just kind of off and on, touch and go. That's not what I mean. But if you were in a relationship and you decided to end that relationship, whether it be with a man or woman, don't matter, who, man, male or female, this message is for men and women. This is for all of y'all. Anytime you decide to be done with the relationship because it was not serving you, don't go back. Because what's going to happen is you're going to go back and you're going to start to see little things like, oh, yeah, I don't like that about you. Oh, yeah, I forgot you acted that way. Or I forgot you said that. Or I forgot you um, low-key, you know, was acting jealous. A lot of times, y'all, your partner can be jealous of you. And it took me a while to realize that a partner, because it's disgusting behavior, right? You you would think that your partner, whoever you're in a relationship with, is supposed to have your best interest, right? They're supposed to be cheering for you, rooting you on. It could be the smallest thing that they could be jealous of. It doesn't always have to be that you are um, at the top of your A game and then that, that's what's triggering jealousy. Sometimes people are jealous because the way that you loved by your family. Some people are jealous um, because, because God just has 
this favor over your life. It could be the smallest things, but when you, when you, uh, 10 times out of 10, if your partner is acting funny towards you, treating you away, I guarantee you it's because they have a little bit of jealousy inside of them. They have a little bit of envy inside of them for you. And what's going to happen is if you decide to go back and entertain that jealous partner, it doesn't matter how much time has elapsed because and it's even worse when more time has elapsed because let's let let's say you go back and entertain the situation after a month. They still jealous of you. What did they do? Get unjealous? No. What did they do? Wake up and decide not to be jealous of you? <laughs> no. They're still jealous of you. So don't go back and entertain that. And and what what if what if a year has gone by and then you decide to go back and entertain it? Even if a year has gone by, nothing has changed. The only thing has, that has changed is that you got greater. You got bigger and better. You got betterer and betterer and betterer and betterer. That's all you did. So be, since you got betterer, since you got betterer, <laughs> that's going to be our new word on the winner's circle. Since you got betterer, you think the jealous has gone away? No, it all, it's going to increase. It's going to be heightened. That's all it is. So when you, when you decide to walk away from people, when you decide to cut people off, when you decide to, to leave people alone and let go of relationships, whether it be intimate relationships, friendships, when you decide to walk away from jobs that are not serving you because your boss is treating you a kind of way and bosses be jealous, okay? Let, let's tap in with that for a second. Have you, how many of y'all have ever worked on a job? Let me know in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. If you had an ex or a partner that you felt like was jealous of you because they started moving funny, let us know in the comment section. If you've ever worked somewhere and you can sense that your boss was jealous of you, let us know in the comment section to let people know that they're not alone. Because sometimes we question ourselves like, am I tripping? And then you start reasoning with yourself like, no, I'm not tripping. Like, And then you start questioning like, why would they be like, why are they acting away? Why is my boss acting jealous of me? You'd be like, that doesn't make sense. They're in a higher position than me. They're making more money than me. They're doing, it don't matter. When you just got that glow, when you just got that inner light, when you just got that favor over you, when you just, when you, you, you could just go to work and just be happy. You could just go to work and be always in a positive mood and people going to be hating. People going to be jealous. People going to be mad because they don't know how to not be in a complaining headspace. They don't know how to not always be mad. They don't know how to not always have a problem for every solution. People get jealous. People get mad over the smallest, the most dumbest things. So no, don't go back and entertain those people. Because again, what did they do? Wake up and not be jealous? What did they do? Program themselves to not be jealous? No, that means they have some, th some inner work that they need to do on themselves and they need to figure some things out. So if they ain't done no inner work, even if they have done the inner work, when you, when you have grown apart from someone because you decided to cut them off, you decided that it was no longer serving you, it is no longer for you. It is literally something, situations, circumstances, relationships that you've attracted at a lower state of consciousness. And so the moment that you wake up and say, I'm cutting this off, I'm done with this, I don't want this, I'm leaving this alone, I'm dead in this situation. The moment you decide to do that, you elevate and when you elevate, you are on a different vibration. You are on a different wavelength. You are in a different mindset. That means you are always, anytime you progress and you go to the next level, you're going to attract things to you on that next level. Friends, relationships, partners, business opportunities, jobs, money, anything that you can think of. The cash flow, the opportunities, the 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 partnerships don't stop. It doesn't if if, if you think that you was um that Billy Bob Joe was the end all be all, you thought Susan was the end all be all for you. And y'all know I'm a life coach. If you ain't booked a session with me, book a session. I talk to a lot of people who get in that mindset of, you know. I was with that dude and you know, he was a doctor, but he treated me so bad. He was very, he was verbally abusive, but I didn't think that I was going to find anybody better because you know, he had the job, he had the, 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 the personality, he had the, the reputation, he had this, he had that. Listen, listen, anytime you, uh, let me, let me rewind. Cause I got a whole lot to say about that. First off, settling in Staying in a situation like that because of someone's status or because you don't think you're going to find better is you're not loving yourself, okay? The moment you walk away and say that I deserve better, 
It don't matter what they got going on. Focus on you. You're operating out of self-love. Love is the highest vibration you can emit. Loving yourself is the, the, the best thing that you can do. When you love yourself, everything else falls into place, okay? Self-love, love is the foundation for all abundance. Let me say that again. Love is the foundation for all abundance. So because you go on within and you start loving yourself and you're placing yourself in better environments, placing yourself in better positions, placing yourself in better opera, um, relationships, placing yourself around people who are actually genuinely there for you and supporting you, you're loving yourself. And as long as you're on that love vibration, you're going to attract people who are also in that love vibration. Billy Bob Joe was not the end all be all. Susan, Keisha, whoever the hell, that was not the end all be all, okay? And anytime you operate on that love vibration, you go attract other people who are operating on the love vibration vibration this world is abundant love is not scarce out here and i know it may seem like it i know some of y'all gonna be like nah love is pretty scarce out here it's a lot of crooked people but it, yeah there is there's a lot of dumb people but don't focus on what there's not focus on what, what what you do have focus on everything that there is and the more you do that the more that's available to you the more you tapped into that abundance mindset that abundance realm the more that's available to you I can't stress that enough. So leave people alone. And when you leave them alone, stop talking about them too. When you're not messing with nobody, when you're not rocking with nobody no more, they're no longer your friends, stop talking about their ass too. Leave them out your mouth. Leave them out your aura. Leave them out your, your vibration. Leave, stop sending them energy. Let it go. Let it go completely. Don't go back. Don't turn back around. Because the things that, the things that are ahead of you are always bigger and greater than what you left behind. Anytime that anything... Anything leaves from you, anything leaves from your life, any anything leaves from your, your aura, your energetic field, your bubble, it can always be replaced with something else. There is no shortage in this world, you guys. It will always be. All you, when you get rid of stuff that's not serving you, all you're doing is making room and making space for, th for new things to come in that does serve you. For new love to come in that actually is going to love you the right way. That is actually going to support you the right way. But guess what? It starts with yourself. And if you are constantly entertaining people, dibbling, dabbling with people who are not for you, dibbling and dabbling in, th in the things that you don't want, <laughs> let's talk about that there's a lot of people who are entertaining things that they don't want you might be entertaining old girl knowing that you don't really want to be with her like that you're just doing it because it's fun or it's easy or it's convenient at the moment but the longer you entertain stuff that's not for you the longer you postpone what is for you because vibrationally, energetically, you sending off messages saying this is where you want to be. You, you playing in the gutter, but you want to be on that top shelf. You want to be in that mansion, but you on the curb of the mansion. Stop. Get out. Get off the curb. Get, get out the gutter. Leave people in the gutter where they belong and you elevate. OK. And again, let me reiterate this. I'm not saying not to forgive people and people don't deserve chances. You know who deserve chances from you. You know if the the. The majority of y'all's relationship, whether it be intimate relationships or friendships, if that person is a good person and maybe it was just a misunderstanding that happened, maybe it was just a mistake that happened. But if people at their core is just raggedy and they always gossiping, they always starting drama, they being jealous of you, they always sneak dissing you low key, they always playing with you, they always he he joking but low key hating on you in your face, they always spreading lies about you, they don't support you, they not um there for you, they want to be there for you when you down and out, oh I'm here for you, but they know where to be found when you in your winning season, leave them people alone, let them people go. And then a year for like a year later, they calling you. Oh my God, I see you doing great things. That's cool, but that's the end of the conversation. Don't open up doors for people who was not genuinely there for you. When you close them doors, when God done closed them doors for you, God know when He doing when He closed doors. Stop opening up doors that God done closed. Because what lies ahead is always greater. But you got to be in your faith to see that. You got to be in your faith to know that there is greater ahead always. OK, I love y'all so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick message. Remember, don't go back. If it is not serving you, if it is you want a new elevation, you want a new level, you want a new chapter, a new journey. Don't entertain stuff that, that you attracted with your old life, your old mindset. 
your old habits, your old way of thinking. This is the new you. <laughs> What's up, new new? <laughs> I love y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Share this video, y'all, because people need to hear this message. I love y'all so much. Have a great one. I'll see you next time on the Winner's Circle.